Hi everybody, Jenna here. It is my pleasure to introduce the wonderful, amazing, and hilarious Andrew Pollock. Hello. Andrew has been a dancer for a very long time and a member of the alchemy community for years. Dear friend, he is teaching a class called Narrative Dance Theater and you are gonna wanna check it out. So tell me a little bit, what the heck is this? Right. What is this whole dance thing? Yeah. Yeah, what, what is it? What, what is, is it? What you're doing? What is it? What is it? There's been people asking me. So, details, first of all, every Sunday, 9.45 to 10.45 a.m., mm -hmm. um, Alchemy Movement South location. I recognize that uh, that could interfere with some people's religious practices on Sunday morning uh. um, and or could complement. Um, I am Jewish, so for me, uh, Friday, Saturday are more sacred, and Sunday is like day to be creative to work you know whatever so um so if that works for your schedule then please come check it out is so it? some people have been asking me like what is narrative dance yeah. theater yeah don't they want to know don't they want to know yeah. they want to know what to yeah, tell I guess them they'll find out <laughs> um so it's you can't know <laughs> well bye um so <clears throat> I've done a lot of um, my mother's a ballerina um I did ballet um as a youth throughout, um, you know, like early childhood through elementary school. And I've done a lot of technique classes and, and for myself, I've, um, I don't know, for my own sense of achievement perfectionism, I've trained a lot of technique. But this class is, I would dare say, an anti-technique class. If you're looking for technique, sorry. Um, Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. No, but you're, you're welcome. Um, it, whatever if technique comes up we can look at it if it's meaningful if like someone's if someone's technique is coming from a place of hindering expression I could say oh, okay how can we expand the expression but what I'm really interested in creating and, and fostering in this class is um, is people's ability to interpret uh, the emotions and the the character and the feeling of music and to express that both in a scripted and an improvisational way through dance so you could call it lyrical dance, call it theatrical dance. Um, if you have more of a theater background, if you have more of a dance background, um, there, there's no right or wrong way to do this class, but um, I know that it could be challenging for people who don't like to perform, who don't want to be seen, or don't, you know, but, but if that's something you want to work on, then please come to the class. It's a good opportunity, it's a safe space. Um, and uh, yeah, so week by week, we'll have different themes as to, you know, different, um, different uh, it could be something right so for example this coming sunday the theme that i'm cooking up is you know is escaping so like how to express escape i'm out of here bye <laughs> bye exactly yeah so like like healthy escape and escape via resistance mm -hmm. and what that looks like in dance and how to create that so I'll be providing the music in some direction, but um, I really want the students to be as sovereign and as uh, resourceful and self-sufficient as possible. I want you to to um, take cues from your own guidance, your own sense of inner artistry and what it needs to be, and I will help guide and nurture that. Um, what we then create, you can take outside of class, divorce it from the original music, expand upon it and use it in other performance context. Um, oh, so this would be a good class for people who actually have done some performance. Yes. Not just for the person who's trying to step into their role as a performer. Yes. But for seasoned performers yes. too. Yes. Great. Cool. So can you say a little bit about like why dance, why theater? What does this all mean for you? Like oh, how did you me. get into this whole thing? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I was kidnapped. By a ballerina? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, she, yeah, she made me nap every <laughs> afternoon as a kid. Uh, why dance? I, um, so I find, I find theater very healing. I think in our day-to-day -day interactions, there's just a lot of like schmaltz or professionalism or just like presentation of this is, this is what's right. This is what's appropriate. And I shouldn't say this thing and I should protect this thing. I'm a very emotional person. I'm a triple water sign. Uh, sun in Cancer, Moon in Pisces, Rising Scorpio. And I feel, um, I feel that 
you know, like we then, so in Boulder, we have these extremes of being very professional, very say the right thing to being very like therapy oriented, very like say the most sensitive thing, the most sincere, the most kind thing. And I want to find something in the middle that's kind of, that's like not, it's not too excessively sensitive and it's not too professional. It's like really real and you can kind of play with something that you repressed or that you would hold back from saying. So in a sense, yes, I have a dance background, but I also have a therapy background, um, not psychotherapy, but I'm a massage therapist, acupuncturist, herbal medicine practitioner, energy worker. And, um, and so finding what's true and what's real and expressing that uh, fearlessly is a really wonderful way to, to move stagnation and free yourself. I'm really interested in it for freedom. On a basic level, I think it helps, it helps, it has helped me and it helps others work with their fear or anxiety, mm. you know, and for that matter, their perfectionism, because you can, a lot of us remain forever in the rehearsal, in the refining, in the fine tuning, in the tweaking, mm. but when you perform, you have to kind of let that all go and just hope for the best. And what is most important about performing is transmitting the feeling, getting the feeling across perfect technique, perfect pitch, tone, I throw that stuff away and focus on staying true to the feeling. And, um, and so I think ultimately it helps you become more present and prioritize what matters more. I used to be a more anxious person, more nervous person, more stressed out person. And I found that theater and making music and dancing has made me less, and, and I guess more so than that, like having to having to perform and having to just show up and make music or make dance has calmed me down. Um, because it, it's, um, yeah, the feeling of it, the emotion of it, the true emotion of it is the most important thing. And I think that's something that we can find in movement and in expression in a way that we can't find just by talking or thinking about mm -hmm. it is like, see what it feels like to move it and to like, make a lot of facial expressions about it without, you know, fearing, like, is this person going to think I'm weird? Or right, is this the you're wrong? safe. You're in a performance context. You're in a play context. It's something I want to create with the students, you know, and it's something that I, I will really modify and adapt to the unique needs of the students week by week, whoever comes and shows up. So I invite you to come with someone. If you, especially if you feel like you're a timid, slightly timid person, and you don't feel safe going into a room full of strangers, bring a friend, bring an ally, bring a brother, bring a sister, bring someone that can be your partner in that class that you can work with in that class. But yeah, if you're more adventurous, if you're more comfortable, then just show up. But otherwise, bring bring a crew. Bring and, a crew. Uh, and we'll make some, some good stuff together. Let's get creative. So every Sunday, 9.45 a.m. here at Alchemy South, AOM South. And uh, yeah, come join us. You don't want to miss this.